Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the New York Jets and the Kansas City Chiefs. All that and more coming up next. It is a beautiful night for football here in the Midwest as we are at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And CD, you and I, we always enjoy our visits to Kansas City. These fans among the best in football, and they should be a happy punch, too. Their guys are defending Super Bowl champions. And the reason that they are is because the offense and the defense, they complement each other so well. Offense gets off to fast starts, allows the defense to just rush the passer, which is a strength of what they do. That and good barbecue, Kansas City, big-time favorites. And meanwhile, for the Jets, you know, even putting the quarterback situation aside, this is an exciting time for them right now. Yeah, they were just 7-10 last year, I get that. But they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved. They certainly are. Remember, going 7-10, they were 7-3 at one point last season. And they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. Right to the air is Rodgers. And his first pass is incomplete. That's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion. And they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. Now a play fake. Rodgers. And his pass incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. He'll buy some time right. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. And this will be taken at the 13. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. So here come the defending champs, led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, a two-time winner now in Patrick Mahomes. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy, check. MVP award, check. League leader in yards and touchdowns, check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Pacheco gets it up the gut. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. A run by Pacheco on second down. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a 9-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra play by Becker is on target. And it's now a 7 0 game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. Hardman will elect not to bring this out, and the football will be on the 25 yard line. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Now a dump off here complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 
And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Meanwhile, Rodgers throw into the hands of Cobb. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. From midfield, here's Rodgers. This pass out wide the hole. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. On play action, now Rodgers. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. He finds Wilson. And they're going to have a first down. And also well into field goal range. All the way down to the 15 here. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Aaron Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Zerline good with a PAT. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. And got his man complete. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And again, it's Mahomes. And incomplete on the deep ball. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Butker's kick here is good, and that will do it for this first half. All right, so we skip the rest of halftime and get set for the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. Mahomes now on first down. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a game of over 20. And quickly, they get to the line. On 
First and ten, here's Pacheco. Finding room at midfield. And finally brought down at the 38. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten. As they've got things rolling. And the Jets pressure two launches. Down he goes. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They take a shot downfield there, but it lines up falling incomplete. There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm, but this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 25-yard line. He's got room to roam. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 25 yards. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. An extra point by Butker is on target. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Hardman, he is not going to bring this out, so they will start the drive at the 25. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. There he goes, right side! This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can be. We're back now in KC. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. Rodgers now on first down. Open man is Uzama. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Here comes second down. Now this throw caught left side. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Rodgers throw here pulled in by Lazard. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Back to throw, Rodgers. That's pulled in by Wilson. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Zerline connects on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. Here's second and two now from the three. Mahomes going to throw it here, sliding out of the pocket. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a camper on this game. And that's the way to find pay here, Patrick Mahomes. Hey, you remember some of the scrambles in the playoffs last year while he was playing on a bad wheel? Oftentimes he's maneuvering just to find a way to throw the football. 
But last season, four touchdowns on the ground, a career high, continuing to develop as a runner, and often finding the end zone these days. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. And New York set to take the field. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount.